It is the right of Ontario taxpayers to know exactly where their hard-earned money is going and what they are receiving in return. For example, the Ministry of International Trade is in the Middle East, and despite our best attempts, we have received no information regarding the cost of the trip, or the itinerary, the companies that are involved, or the expectations. So much for transparency. For instance, what kind of companies are accompanying the minister? Are they construction companies taking advantage of the development boom in Abu Dhabi or Dubai or, or Saudi Arabia? Oh, Here, just Mr. Spending I'm, uh, money. I'm, I'm very pleased that, uh, on behalf of Ontarians, we now have a minister uh, exclusively devoted to pursuing international trade opportunities. Here, here, here. Speaker, Minister Papatello is in the United Arab Emirates. Uh, she is working hard to attract new investment to Ontario. This is, I believe, Ontario's first ever mission to uh, that part of the world. She's leading 20 Ontario companies. She's meeting with a number of companies in the following sectors, design and engineering, energy, climate change, sustainable development, investment firms, construction, small business, and airline speaker. I think that's exactly the kind of initiative that Ontarians want us to pursue, and that's why Minister Patel is over there now. Yep. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Premier, for that answer. That was actually an answer, and I appreciate that. There's construction companies in that list. Premier, the, uh, the Oakville Hospital is being delayed because there's a lack of construction uh, ability of Ontario's construction companies to build that hospital, according to you. And yet here you are sending construction companies over to Dubai, over to Abu Dhabi, over to Saudi Arabia to build buildings over there. I would suggest, Premier, that those construction companies should be building a hospital in Oakville, exactly not going right. over to Dubai to build buildings over there. Exactly. Premier, right. will you bring those construction bring home. Home companies home to build a hospital in Oakville where Ontarians need medical care? Excellent. Thanks. Premier, the Minister of Energy and Infrastructure. Well, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. To the Honourable uh, Member's question, indeed, uh, because Ontario has been so dedicated to rebuilding infrastructure, uh, much of which was a deficit left behind by the uh, previous government, Mr. Speaker, it has been the case, most certainly, that in the case in Oakville and in one other circumstance in the province of Ontario, we have had to slow somewhat our very, very ambitious and aggressive schedule of rebuilding the hospital capital uh, uh, infrastructure in the province of Ontario. Mr. Speaker, I can tell the Honourable Member that it is possible for companies on the one hand to be active in the Ontario market and on the other hand looking for opportunities to expand further. We'll work with all of those companies to make sure that the strong foundation and skills that they have because of our infrastructure investments gives them the opportunity to be active in other jurisdictions. Mr. Speaker, this is about exporting our skills and gaining revenue for the people of the province of Ontario.